truth, lies, shenanigans. All right, I'll start us off. A couple of weeks ago, Miss Beyonce dropped her new album full of dance hits called Renaissance. But came with a few controversies. First off, a few weeks ago, Lizzo was called out for using the word spaz, calling it a slur. That apparently was called out for being a slur. So when Beyonce was called out for using the same word, even though she was using it in a, in a very very sexual context, she was still called out. And then basically at the same time all that was happening, singer Khalees went on Instagram to rant after one of Beyonce's songs sampled music from Khalees' song Milkshake, even though the, the rights of the sampled song belonged to producer Pharrell Williams. Well, Beyonce conceded and she ended up editing both songs. Of course, right after that, Monica Lewinsky joined the bandwagon and asked that she also edit her 2013 song, Partition, which references a certain sexual act as, of course, a Monica Lewinsky. Uh, so my question is, should artists edit their original songs every time someone finds some lyrically offensive content? Or should artists be allowed to uh, have artistic liberties? And I want to start off with the artist better known as Robbie Rock. Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is an interesting one. Uh, when, and I disagree with Beyonce's okay. decision to go back and edit her songs just so quickly. Um, there are definitely songs that do not hold true or do not hold up well over the test of time. Um, even like the most innocuous songs, I'm, I'm thinking of Dire Straits. Um, money for nothing. I mean, there's one section that was completely edited out. Um, New Orleans is sinking was banned from playing with it's just to me, there's just ridiculous stuff. But no, she shouldn't have done this because at the end of the day, I don't think that her husband is going to do the same thing and revisit his catalog and remove offensive lyrics or things that people might take exception to. And I think Jay Z might have a little bit more going on there. So I don't agree with Beyonce just giving in to the peer pressure so quickly. It's um, it was pretty quick. I think she did it what, within a week, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you wrote that song. It, you didn't write that song alone. This was with a team of writers, so it passed all the vetting, all the vetting, and it got published. It is the song. It is what it is. If it contains something offensive and it's not going to be received well commercially, okay, so be it then that's the song she's written enough commercially viable songs that she doesn't need to go back and edit this it's and that's it it was it was used in a very different context and at least it got a conversation going so that we know that hey you know what this is a trigger word this is a word that shouldn't be used in this regular everyday conversation so if she hadn't put the song out if Lizzo hadn't put the song out we wouldn't be having this conversation so it's a misstep you learn from it. The song is what the song is. It's a B side. It's not going to be playing on the radio. Well, she's I don't got know about that. Money. She's, got some good, that. she's got some good songs on the album. But let me. So, but oh, yeah. okay. So, but let me ask you about the Khalid. Well, actually, let's let's stick with that. So we'll stick with that. Lizzie, what do you think about the slur specifically? Um. So I'm going to go, get into a little bit of everything, but I want to say for the entire week, I've been saying, "You won't break my soul." You won't break my soul. You won't break. Like, I've been singing it all week. And so a collection of things have come at Beyonce this week, starting with um, the slur, right? right? And then we had Khalees and her nonsense. And then we had Monica trying to pile on. And then we had Miss Diane Warren. And we'll talk about all of these things. As it relates to the slur, I get why she did it because it counters or it goes against the image that she tries to present as positivity, feminism, girl power. And so I get why she did it. Um, and you know, she's Beyonce. Like she doesn't necessarily want her name to be put out there in a negative light. She's very PR conscious. And so she doesn't want her name to be put out there as someone who is slurring the disabled, right? And so, we also have to think about too, because you mentioned Rob that 
there were a team of writers for this song, it may have been another writer's call to be like, mm -hmm. no, we're going to take this out. So I, I, that's the one edit that she did that I didn't have a problem with. So you, you're okay. You, so you're, so with the slur, you're good with it. So the, the I'm good with her. Spaz, I'm, I'm, taking good with her spaz. I'm good. With, I'm good with her taking that out. But it would okay. So um, even even though that it was not, even though you're saying, even though it was not used to in relationship to say for someone who's disabled, it had to really had some. It was a sexual connotation. You still felt the need to be. I I felt that if she did not want to offend, then yeah, take it out. I don't want this offense attached to my name. I don't want people uh, to so, think about this when they hear this song. Wait, Robert, let me. So can we before just talk about what? I don't know, but we're talking about being offensive. So the the word is, or the lyrics are, spazzin on that ass, spaz on that ass. So now she's replacing it with the word blast. Blastin' on that ass, blast on that ass. Which is more offensive? I mean, it's... But... but <laughs> one but, one's a slur, but, but one is very sexually overt. But the song is sexually overt. Like, that was yeah. her whole point to begin with. Like she didn't mean to go out there and be offensive to the disabled community. She meant to talk about fucking and ejaculating. And so why not keep the same energy going? Let me change I mean, to something that is equally as provocative so as spasms, the intent. So personally, apparently like the Lizzo, so Lizzo reacted to a disabled person in, um, in I think it was the UK or Australia, I believe, who, went on Instagram and said, hey, you know, this is, I, I have spastic, I, spas, spastic cerebral pause, palsy, right? And so, and said that that was a slur. Now, spastic and spasms, that's literally what was ha it happens to a penis when you ejaculate. I mean, there are different, there are existing uh, definitions for spasms and spastic and all that stuff. That makes sense. So a penis spasming makes sense because the definition existed prior to it being used as a slur. It's not like the N word where the N word is has really no other meaning other than you know to denigrate black people. So I mean, calling it a slur versus I mean, I understand it's the spelling spaz. You can't say that it's not a slur to someone who has that condition and has spastic movement. You can't say it's not a slur to them. Sure, so to them, I, for me, if I'm using it me, in that context, but it's an but existing for me, word. But for me, but they get triggered by it. And for me, That's props fine. to Lizzo. Exactly. And props to Lizzo and Beyonce for saying, I don't want that connotation. So let me just I get triggered it. by it's certain like, words too, but that doesn't mean that okay, so you. Then, okay, so then go. So then go on your crusade and see if they listen to you. No one's stopping you. Right. They're fair enough. I mean, I, and so I'm saying. I, so I'm saying I disagree, and she just shouldn't have to done it. And the, and the other thing I want to point out you. is, you know, she said the N word a bunch of times in that album, and nobody said nothing right. about that. And I am offended by the N word, and I'd like her to well, edit that all, crap out right now. All. As a matter of fact. First of all, you're just now offended by the N-word because a What are you talking about? I've always been... No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I've always you been offended have by the N-word. No, you have not. You and I have battled before about the N-word. The, the R-word is a different but, word <laughs> that we didn't but, agree on. But, but let me just say, with the N-word, it's hard for people to come at her for that when it's in a thousand other songs. So that's never going to be an issue. That's what do you mean never? You. Why is it never? You know because, what? Because, I, I want her. Because, I'm going. You know, I'm because, going to go on Instagram because, right because, now. If I don't post because, this on Instagram and tell her she needs to change the N word because I find it offensive. Why didn't you? But why didn't you say that to her husband when he and Kanye I, 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 had a song I, I, and were exactly? Parents. I'm going to be I, like Jay, because Jay Z why, has not opened you, that door. Beyonce right. has. Yeah. But, right. Thank you. She set a precedence. She set a precedence. To having to editing songs, to editing her songs but, to, get to political correctness of the day, her entire back catalog is now but, subject to being changed at any moment's notice if it triggers someone else. Yep. One hundred. No, it's, it's Jay Z no, doesn't it's not. have to do that because he hasn't. You're, you're acting, but you're acting like someone else is changing it. We're talking about an issue that may have a feeling to her. 
And if she feels like, because she, you don't have to no. bear the response that she gets from people. You don't have to bear the response that she gets from people. But if she feels like she is hurting her fan base with this, then she has a right. Ain't okay, you make a fair, you, with, you make a fair point. come at her with the N-word, Rob. You make a fair point. Everybody, I hear, I heard it yesterday, multiple times on the street. We don't hear spies on the streets like that. But the N-word, I mean, the N-word is in the dictionary. It's a part of the common lexicon. Whether so we like it or not. And y'all know, and y'all know, spasm and spasm. know not, not as not, not spaz, as but spasm word. and spastic are the, both in the dictionary. Not, and been not, in the dictionary not, much longer but, than but the N-word. But they are not used as much as the N-word. They are not accepted as much as the N-word. Wait, now, wait, maybe, wait, wait, wait. Accepted? Not, maybe, you, you don't think the black community has accepted the N-word from certain people? Some of the black community, I don't accept it. I don't either. But let's be real here. Let's and I be think real she here. should. I think she should. She should take my feelings into account, and I think yeah. she should change her t her her because that's what she said. The yeah, first instance. Take but my feelings. Not, no, she did my not. feelings are important. No, she did. <laughs> you, for all you know, she and Jay Z call each I'm other the N word. I'm offended. You don't know that. I'm highly offended, and I, she I think don't care she about should. Your offense. <laughs> clearly. Trust me. Trust me. All right. Well, let's get, let's get back to Khalees. Let's let's change. So let's get to Khalees. So what were your thoughts on Khalees? Lizzie? Okay. So I am a Khalees fan. I have <laughs> okay. her cookbook. Uh -huh. I buy I buy her spice boxes. I thought this was petty Betty bullshit. Okay. Good. Petty Betty bullshit. Mm -hmm. One, we're talking about a sample for the song Energy for Beyonce song Energy, a sample from the Neptunes, Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams written, produced song, Milkshake. Yep. They didn't even write that song for Khalees. They wrote that song for Britney Spears initially. Britney Jean Spears, who turned it down because her album was full. Mm -hmm. And so they decided, like songwriters do, they decided to, okay, we'll offer it to Khalees. Now we all know that Khalees and Pharrell have this horrible back and forth. You know, she says that he cheated her out of royalties. She signed a horrible contract. Okay, you're not the first, you won't be the last. But that has nothing yeah. to do with Beyonce. Right. She had no rights to this song. Beyonce did not owe her a phone call. Nope. Khalees nope. has talked shit about Beyonce before. Okay. Khalees initially said that Beyonce was copying her in the song Ring the Alarm because Beyonce screamed on the song. <laughs> and Khalees <laughs> screamed <laughs> on. I hate you so much. I'm not making this up, y'all. <laughs> I, I hate you so much right now. I know you're not. And so when Khalees first came out with her rant this week, it was like, she's copied me before. Then she called her a thief. Then she called her Satan. I'm like, what are you doing? Even if, even if she had called you to let you know that she was using the song, which writers and songwriters and singers or whatever, they don't call the vocalists. They call whomever owns the rights to the music but even if yep. you think she called she should have called you and you said no you can't use it that no was meaningless because mm -hmm. you don't own the rights to the song yep. it was bullshit it was bullshit and so that's the one where my petty betty comes in because i would not have taken the and it was a beat it wasn't even a exactly. sample where right you could it wasn't a sample of her voice or anything like that of her, it was a beat Mm -hmm. that, that Pharrell created, not yep. Khalees. Yep. And so if I, y'all remember when Michael Jackson got real petty and bought the Beatles catalog? That would have <laughs> been me if I was Beyonce. <laughs> I would have bought Khalees, the, the few catalogs that she owned, I would have bought all that shit. <laughs> that's that's pretty petty, though. Things. That's pretty petty. Yeah. I agree with you, though, but because, uh, yeah, when I read, when I heard her rant, she made some good points about, you know, integrity and respect and things like that. But no one owed her anything. I mean, she and needs to make so, sure. So she didn't make any good arguments. She makes. She she's she to make sure she, she figures out her contracts and shit, so that she, if she wants the rights to the music, she should work her, work out her contracts and get the rights to her music. That's not. That's but not Beyonce's she fault. Come, she didn't come at Pharrell nearly as hard as she came at Beyonce for this. Yeah. And that's where, you know, I call foul on, she was talking about, you know, woman to woman and a feminist to fit. No, because why didn't you call Beyonce? You went to social media. You didn't give her a call. You didn't have her. 
your people call her people. You went right to social media with a, a, a tweet, IG post or whatever, and then she kept it going throughout the week, every single yeah, day, every day. another mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. And then to top it off, because yeah. someone said something about Rihanna, just sour. she alluded to the fact that Rihanna was copying her. I'm like, okay, Khalees, you, you, you're right. You're the only black female R&B funk pop artist who could be edgy out there. <laughs> you're the only one. You're the only one. So quick comments online. Um, Jeanette Brown says, why does she think she could take on Beyonce? And uh, Jacqueline Robinson, well, let me see. And then Olivia on YouTube says, oh my gosh, I didn't even know the word was a slur. I had to ask for the lyrics because I've never heard the word used as a slur. And then... Um, I hadn't. I hadn't. And it's, it is a UK slash Australian thing. It's a UK language thing. Uh, because they've been they were used as slurs in in the UK and in in Australia, but not really in the US as a slur. It was, but yeah, I I remember spaz being kicked around when we were kids. Like I remember that word being very common in the playground, and that was usually to put somebody down. It was someone that didn't fit in, so to speak. Yeah, and then um, uh, Jacqueline Robin says Monica needs to go. The Constitution Hall and take every seat. Sit down in every seat. Constitution uh, Hall we, is, we got her ass. is yeah. a venue. We uh, got her ass. Concert venue. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what do we think about? What do we think about? Uh, well, actually, let me ask you, Rob. What do you think about Monica piling on? Uh, it's and that's what I was saying. When you open the doors, when you open mm-hmm. the floodgates, you that's open them thinking. for mm-hmm. absolutely everyone, and you open it for in perpetuity. So as social values change, as we move the conversation forward, she's going to be revising and re-editing her songs because she's demonstrated that or she, she should play to her fan base. You know what? If this is offensive, this is not the way I want to represent myself. I apologize. Here, we've reproduced the song as such. And you can disagree with me all you want, Liz, but this is absolutely what she's done. By allowing this to happen as a result of social media pressure, she, her entire catalog, past, present, and future, is open to this type of scrutiny. And now what's the point of explicit lyrics? But it was, the explicit but it lyrics already, logo now. I mean, what's the point? already open to this type of scrutiny. This is not the first time that someone has come at Beyonce for her lyrics. Sure. Normally, she just lets it fly. Again, maybe this particular issue or topic resonated with her. And even when it comes to mm-hmm. Khalees, like Khalees thought that she was going to get a whole bunch of backing, and she did have backing. She did have people, you know, who were following her, who were like championing Khalees or whatever, because Beyonce has been the topic of a conversation before when it comes to copyright, when it comes to songwriting copyright. Like, that's, that's not a new thing with Beyonce, okay? So this is nothing new. It's just that for Khalees in that situation, it was bullshit. Mm-hmm. I think for Beyonce, she probably was like, you know what? That's not what I meant. And I could come up with a better word. The last. Here we go. Um, so I again I don't I don't fault her for that. Um, Miss Monica, so again, someone who just wants to jump on the bandwagon. Um I want to jump on the bandwagon. bandwagon this not the penis bandwagon this time, but you know the the Beyonce bandwagon this time. Um, but I'm curious as to why, because forty at least forty different artists have used a Monica Lewinsky reference. Exactly. In their song. Why she pick on Beyonce? Because I think it has to do with what Rob is saying. No, she no, opened the door. No, 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 no. It's not because she opened the door. It's <laughs> yes. because Beyonce. No, it's because Beyonce never responds to anything. Beyonce never even responded to Khalees. Beyonce never, Beyonce takes the high road. Beyonce is like, it's above me now. Nicki Minaj, why, why didn't she come for Nicki Minaj? Why do you think? Not because she, she opened the, not because she opened the door, because she knew Nicki Minaj would because, grab her by her throat <laughs> and drag because her for Nicki hasn't, Nicki hasn't gone and changed any of her songs from that's, social no, media that's, pressure. That's not, that's, that's not why palace. Monica Lewinsky. That's not why Monica Lewinsky came for her. <laughs> no, because Monica she wants Lewinsky the lyrics to... changed to instead of Monica Lewinsky on her dress, Bill Clinton on her dress. Because that would be more appropriate. You... 
<laughs> That's why, true, didn't, actually. But why didn't she ask any of the other? Because most of the song references have been in rap songs. Why didn't she come Because the other artists <laughs> don't change their lyrics based on- No, because she knew the reference. other artists would blast her. No, Again, I, do, I agree with Rob on this one. I'm feeling Rob on this other, one. <laughs> she knew the other artists would rap blast her. Would blast her. Beyonce doesn't bother anybody. They would have dragged her for filth. And let me tell you something. Jay-Z has another song, an, another album coming up, I'm sure. You think he's not going to address Khalees? You think he's not going to address- Monica okay. Lewinsky, and, and granted, he's addressed Khalees before. He's addressed Khalees before. Now it's going to be a full on because Jay Z was already in a battle with Khalees' ex husband Nas. It's going to be full blast now. It's right. going to be full blast now. You got to shut and it down. And let's forget one one last point. Monica has some fucking nerve. Because a lot of people try to say, "Oh, she was young at the time, whatever." Yes. Do I think that Bill Clinton was? 100 percent in the wrong absolutely however so was monica when she was sucking on his little thing thing but also (laughs) but also she was also involved in an extra marriage she was someone else's mistress yeah that's right Mm -hmm. before bill she was sleeping with another married man so Mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with her age or she was no she she was doing the dirty and who saves a goddamn dress for over a year come on now (laughs) Come on now. All right. Come on now. <laughs> is this is this true? I told you I had I told you I had a lot to say on this topic. And we didn't even get we into Diane you, Warren. We missed you, Liz. Is this true <laughs> lies or shenanigans? I, I got this one. So, this is shit. This I didn't do bullshit. a bullshit, Rob. I didn't do a bullshit. I'm feeling Rob. you, Rob, though. I'm feeling you, Rob. I'm with you on this one. Now y'all are being way too naive. Them rappers would have eaten her alive. Eaten her. Oh, I do. I do, Rob. I do. I do. She's got a bullshit title. Okay. All right.